if they have drip like that available online now, it, it's truly over for us. Yeah. Yeah, anyway. So, uh, yeah, T's great. I love T. So contrary to what you Not see on screen beverage, here, T is actually on the left of your screen, Larry Lur on the right. If you'd like to follow along with us at home with the racket, you can do so at smash.gg slash MSM. Catch all the action. Keep track with every player. We only have one stream going, so a lot of quality matches, unfortunately, are going to be happening just for no one to see. But they're happening nonetheless, and they're just such good practice for everyone overseas. Only way to see them is to come here. <laughs> That's right. I'm sure there's some periscopes or something up if you really Maybe. delve through Twitter. but. Uh, for the moment, now we have Larry versus T, and I would not change a thing because this is a very interesting matchup we have here. So yeah, uh, Pac-Man is able to uh, use the his side B to throw out that pellet, and if it meets a hitbox, um, then it turns into an item that you can eat, which heals you. Uh, so one of the few characters in this game that is able to heal themselves and a reason that you need to be careful when you throw out a projectile against Pac-Man because he can heal himself. He's smartly not rolling in and Larry just that F smash it lingers or the neutral air meanwhile. It's active but it's not active enough. Okay, we got Larry at the ledge here despite what the titles say again. Down the velvet ledge and goes back before anything can be too dangerous. Okay, dash attack. That won't kill. All right, now Larry's got T at the ledge here. Uh, unfortunately, able, unable to make anything happen. The wolf is strongest position gonna be here at the ledge. So as I say with, ooh, yeah. oh yeah. Just dipped his head above the ledge and that's gonna be instant food for Wolf's downward angle left. Yeah, tilt. Larry was ready for that. He's ready for that always. Okay, I yeah, I like how T traps Larry there with the bell. Um, but Larry smartly getting able to get out of that situation. Oh wow, extends the back air hitbox off of the hydrant and T finally secures himself the first kill with the help of that beautiful setup. Yeah, you'll find that with the whenever you do enough damage to hit the hit, the the fire hydrant, that it will um, extend the hitbox like that, and then you'll get hit by the hitbox that hit the hit, hit the fire hydrant and the fire hydrant as well. So you can end up taking a lot of damage. And on top of the fire hydrant like that is actually a pretty bad spot for T to be, uh, just because even if you're shield when you're on the hydrant like that. Um, it's canceled out by the Hydrant taking enough damage to turn into a projectile. Uh -huh. So if your opponent runs up and down smashes the the Hydrant, which Wolf has and does enough damage to send it and, into a projectile, um, it will uh, actually hit um, Pac-Man. Yeah, T already had the Hydrant primed after a couple of moves, so just even a small move would have been enough to dislodge it there. But Larry Lord continuing this assault on T. It's the up air, up air conversion there. And uh, sends the grab the wrong way. That grab got buffed between games. It is not as god awful as it used to be. And actually can be pretty decent at catching an approach with how fast this game is. Yeah, it's the only grab in the game that actually lasts through spot dodge. That's true. It depends on how you space it, but. Uh, just because of the nature of how the hitboxes work. He's stomping onto Larry though and bringing him into final stock, but immediately finds the grab into the back air. Solid back off throw. From, solid option from Pac-Man off stage. One of those multi-hit uh, moves that can cover a lot of space off stage. Fades back beautifully though, and the dash grab is going to be an easy punish. Okay, this is. Oh yeah, and like you said, that does. Uh, there, uh, or sorry, the grab hitbox beating out spot dodge there. Just maintaining his presence and goes for that downward angle left tilt. You just see him, he has a timer in his head and right when it expires, he just pulls the trigger. 
goes for it every single time. Knows that T has already made his bed for himself and now he has to lay in it. Yeah, I mean, it, that's something that's really impressive because the amount of time you have with your invincibility is tied uh, on the ledge is tied to how much percent you're at. So the higher your percent, the less amount of time you have. So Larry, knowing exactly how much time he had at that specific uh, uh, percent is very impressive. And it shows that he has been playing this game a lot. Yeah, really impressive matchup knowledge from Larry as well. We don't have too many Pac-Men in California. I can think of Pastor and no one else. Oh, and that was an amazing combo there. Oh, he saved oh, him! Oh, no, he saved him! He had to, though. He was so low. That was just so smart off-stage play from both players. I'm in shock. Larry didn't give up. He yeah. knew that T would have to save him in order to save himself. So what was really smart about that by Larry is he actually went for the... His, his jump was already burned, and he went for the, the footstool off of T there, uh -huh. which is how he was able to recover without uh, so high without using the up yeah, after the little flash fell short, but drop down back air off the platform from T, still maintaining a percent lead. Okay, yeah. So Pac-Man can only re-grab the bell once after he's thrown it, which is why he'll leave it after that second fly, because he just cannot re-grab it. But Larry Lur actually going to need the hydrant with the back air. Yeah, that was smart, because I believe the back air on its own is not able to... Uh, it, it doesn't do enough to send the... Uh, the the um, fire hydrant into tumble. And I like the quick calculation from T, just recognizing that getup attack was enough to beat that. So the way, the way the hydrant works is that it has a certain amount of percentage. It's not knockback based. So the knockback determines, of the move that sends it into becoming a projectile, determines the angle it gets thrown at. But the... Uh, whether it becomes a projectile or not is entirely dependent on whether it's taken a certain amount of percent. So I believe the number is like 15, at least in Smash 4. I don't know in this game. But once it hits that uh, that amount, it doesn't matter how weak the move is. If it's just jab, once it hits that amount, oh, oh my god, he just ran off and spiked him. Landing Nair into down air, and before T could even get the trampoline out, Larry is up three stocks to one, a dominant show. So say you deal 13% uh, and then you hit it with jab and that does two, it will turn the, uh, it will fly at a very weak angle because the knockback of the move is weak, but the percentage is low, but it does enough to send it into the tumble kind of thing. As we see Larry settle in this match, we're seeing him use less and less of blaster. Oh, he just parried the first hit of the up smash. Are you crazy? That blaster just leaves you in the middle of no man's land for 53 frames at the cost of one of the best projectiles in the game, of course. But T is catching on there and knows that he can go for much better options with tech chases. So, yeah, Larry just parried the... There's two hits to the up smash. One, uh, the first hit is in front of Pac-Man and it scoops you up into it. The second hit... Um, it's the ghost hit. Is the ghost hit. But he parried the, the, ups, the, the, the first hit of it which means Pac-Man is wide open to getting hit. Excellent Galaga combo, though, applying 43% onto Larry. Still quite a mountain for him. Okay, Larry getting knocked back just too far to make it all the way back. And what a comeback this would be from T if he's able to do it down three stocks to one suddenly with a chance. Okay, Larry gets the grab. He's about to take it over T here. This would be a big upset for him, as his results have not been as strong in this game as in Smash 4. Just out of the range. Oh, gets around him, gets the up smash, and T takes it. And sorry, Larry takes it over T. Guys, that was a pools match. That was a pools match indeed, and unlike Pac-Man's up smash, Wolf's up smash scoops from both sides.